Charlie Robison, a country music singer and songwriter who was a judge on the TV show Nashville Star, has died in San Antonio. Robison also left this world on that day. I'm 59 years old, Kristen Robinson. His wife announced his death on Facebook. It is with a heavy heart that I share the news that my husband, Charlie Robison, passed away today surrounded by his family and friends. She said my heart is aching all over. Please include me, our kids, and the rest of our family in your prayers. A family member confirmed to the Associated Press that the singer died in the hospital after heart arrest and other complications. Variety reports that although Robison was born in Houston, he spent much of his boyhood in the nearby Texas Hill Country town of Bandera. His musical career began in the 1980s when he began performing with several Austin bands before forming the Millionaire Playboys. Robison's debut solo album was released in 1996 with the title Bandera, the city in Texas where Robinson's family has farmed continuously since the 1840s, inspired the album's title. He has put out a total of eight studio albums over the course of his career, the most recent of which was 2013's High Life. On it, he memorably covered Bob Dylan's When I Paint My Masterpiece. His best-selling album Step Right Up 2011 was published during the height of his commercial popularity. His only top 40 country single, I Want You Bad, peaked at number 35 on the Billboard Hot Country Songs charts and stayed there for 20 weeks. The album peaked at number 27 on Billboard's Top Country Albums chart. Robison was a judge on the pilot episode of Nashville Star, a singing competition that premiered on the USA Network in 2003. His fellow panelists were talent manager Tracy Gershon and music critic Robert K. Orman. Robison had vocal surgery in 2018 that ended up causing vocal issues. In the same year, he posted a note on his Facebook page announcing his retirement from the music profession. The singer wrote, At the beginning of this year, I was required to undergo a surgical procedure. However, as a result of complications, I was rendered permanently unable to sing. It is with a heavy heart that I must therefore announce my retirement from the theater and the recording studio. I'll try to keep this short, but I think it's crucial that you hear it from me. He continued, I can't even begin to tell you what these past 25 years have meant to me, but it's been an incredible journey. The next 25 years held much promise, but as the cliché goes, happens. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I truly appreciate it all, and I hope that in some little way, I was able to return the favor. It was a fantastic trip, but as the adage goes all good things must come to an end then Robinson concluded keep on supporting this thing we call Texas Red Dirt, and hopefully we'll all get the chance to have a cocktail or two and talk about the good old days. Until then, have a wonderful day and night. It's been enjoyable here. Each and every one of you has my undine affection. Robinson's personal life includes his marriage to the chicks Emily Strayer from 1999 to 2008, Charles Gus Augustus, age 20, and 18-year-old twins Juliana Tex and Henry Benjamin are their offspring. The country singer married Kristen in 2015, becoming a legal stepfather to her kids in the process. The couple had their first child, a son named James, in February of 2020. People sought word from Kristen, but she did not respond right away. It was announced on Sunday that the Chicks Tuesday show at Winnipeg's Canada Life Center will be moved to Monday due to an urgent family matter. There is currently no information available on Robinson's funeral.